good morning to all see i am starting the session listen so in the previous session we discussed about uh, some miscellaneous functions like greatest function least functions okay nvl function we have seen using nvl function we can replace null value with some other value but we cannot replace the not null values for example in the previous session we have written like this nvl of 100 comma 200 we are writing what it is giving 100 only it is giving so this is not null value is it replacing not null value with any other value no not null value only it is giving but here if you give null value what it is returning 200 means null will be replaced with 200 so we can replace null values only we cannot replace not not null values here so to replace null values and not null values we have to use one more function nvl2 function so nvl2 function is is it to replace nulls and not nulls so to replace nulls and not nulls we use this nvl2 function so to use this function the syntax is right nvl2 nvl2 of give first argument number 1 second argument number value 1 value 2 value 1 comma value 2 comma value 3 so like this three arguments we need to pass so for nvl2 function we need to pass two arguments for example we are writing like this nvl2 of i am giving first value 100 second value 100 third value 300 i am giving so here it checks first value is null value or not it checks is first value null value not null value so if first value is not null it returns a second argument if first value is not null it returns returns second argument so according to this example what it returns now second argument value is what 200 so what it returns now 200 for example we are writing like this nvl2 of first value i am giving as null null comma 200 comma 300 i am giving if first value is null it returns a third argument first value is null this function returns this function returns third argument what is the third argument here third argument is 300 so it returns 300 here returns 300 that's it this is about nvl2 so to replace null values and not null values we use it so here not null value we are replacing with 200 null value we are replacing with 300 okay so for nvl2 function we pass three arguments if first value is not null it returns second argument if first value is null it returns third argument okay so interviewer may ask like this what is the difference between nvl function and nvl2 function what is what are the differences between nvl and nvl2 okay so the answer is very simple using nvl function we can replace null values can we replace not null values no so using nvl function we can replace null values we can replace null values only we cannot replace not null values we can replace null values only we cannot replace cannot replace not null values not null values if a requirement is replacing null values use nvl so nvl2 can replace can replace nulls and not nulls both both can be replaced this is one difference and one more difference is for nvl function how many arguments we pass two arguments okay two arguments we take we pass 
okay for nvl2 how many arguments we pass three arguments so nvl function can take two arguments two arguments whereas nvl2 function takes can take three arguments so for nvl function two arguments we pass for nvl2 three arguments we pass so nvl of 100 comma 200 we are giving how many arguments we are passing two arguments we are passing okay nvl2 of 100 comma 200 comma 300 we are writing how many values we are passing three values we are passing so nvl function can take two arguments nvl2 function can take three arguments now see one example on nvl2 see one example on nvl2 so update commission values as following if commission is null if commission is null then update as update the commission as update commission as update commission as 600 or 500 if commission is not null if commission is not null then increase increase 300 rupees commission 300 rupees commission this is our requirement so if commission is null update commission as 500 means null we want to replace as 500 if commission is not null increase 300 so to the existing commission add 300 rupees so this query we are writing now observe so for updating what we are writing update okay in which table we want to update AMP table, okay, set, set commission value. So which value we want to set now? Commission value, commission value we want to set. So commission equals to, okay. So commission value we have to check NVL2, NVL2 of, okay, NVL2 function. In this, we want to check commission value. If commission value is null, that null we want to replace with 500. So this 500, we have to pass as third argument. So if commission value is not null to the existing commission value, add 300, commission plus 300. So if commission value not null to the current commission, it adds 300. So it increases 300 rupees commission. If commission value is null, that null will be replaced with 500. That's it. Very, very simple. This is the way of using in this example. We are replacing not null values and null values. Null value we are replacing with 500. Not null value we are replacing the current commission value plus 300. So I am opening SQL plus observe here. Our batch schema is Oracle 9 name. Password is Naresh IT. Setting page size as 200 and line size. The size as 200 and I'm clearing the screen here. So just observe as of now, let me check the commission values here. So select employee name, comma, salary, comma, commission from AMP. So just to check the commission value, some employees are getting commission, some employees are not getting commission here. Okay, so the employees who are not getting commission, these null values, we want to set it as 500. The employee who is getting commission 330 plus 300. So to the current commission, we want to add 300. We want to increase 300 rupees commission. So 330 plus 300, 1540 plus 300, like that. If not null, add 300. If null, set as 500. So what we're writing here, update EMP set, set commission value equals to, which function we are calling? NVL2. If commission value is null replace it with 500 if commission value not null to the current commission add 
300. Okay, so observe here. Now all records will be updated here. Total 21 rows are there. 21 rows are updated. Now open and see the table. Is it updated or not? Just observe here. E name, salary, comma, commission from EMP. Observe here. The employees whose commission is null, nulls replaced with 500. And here, this employee commission was not null. This employee commission was not null. 330 was there. 330 plus 300. 630. So this implies uh, commission also increased here. So 300 rupees commission increased if not null. If null, it is setting 500. In such type of situations, NVL2 is useful. Is it clear? Next. Last two functions, rank function. So this rank function is used to apply the ranks to records. Ranks to records according to specific column according to specific column order according to specific column order so according to specific column order we can apply the ranks to the records so to apply the ranks to the records according to specific column order we are using this rank Okay, for example, dense rank purpose is also same. One more function is there. Dense rank function is there. This dense rank function purpose is also same. It is also used to apply the ranks to the records according to specific column order. And syntaxes are also same. Just we write rank empty parenthesis, then write over rank over. Here we use the order by class, order by column name we give. Order by column name. Okay, Ascend, for ascending order, ASC. For descending order, DSC. Not only one column, multiple columns also we can specify. So ASC is the default one. For ascending order, we have no need to write ASC. ASC is the default one. ASC is default. Okay, for descending order, we must write DSC. So how to use, we discuss. So this is the syntax for dense rank also, the same syntax. So what is the difference of rank and dense rank by seeing the output you can understand this. Listen. For example, see, here some students marks are there. So student marks are there. Student marks are, observe. One student got 930 marks, okay, 750 marks, 640 marks, 640 marks, and uh, one more, one student got 820 marks, 820 marks, and another student got uh, 930 marks, and another student got uh, 820 marks, then one more student got 750 marks. Okay, see here. So now I'm explaining the difference between rank and dense rank. So listen. So this rank function is used to apply the ranks according to particular column order. So according to the marks descending order, I want to apply the ranks now. 
to the highest scorer we want to give first rank so to the highest scorer first rank means marks should be arranged in the descending order okay so highest marks are 930 here highest marks are 930 so how many uh, students are there with same rank two students are there so for two students it gives rank as 1 here okay so because of two students got first rank if we use rank function if you use rank function okay next rank it will not give two next rank it gives three okay so next second highest marks are what 820 so for 820 how many with how many students scored 820 marks three students so for them it gives which rank third rank okay why it is giving third rank because first how many members got first rank two members so that's why it is giving third rank here for 820 it is giving third rank so with 820 how many students are there three students are there so total for five students ranking is over next rank it gives as six for third highest marks third highest marks value is what 750 for 750 six rank it gives why it is giving six rank because for five students already ranking is over because of rank function that applies like this so 750 Sixth rank, okay. Next seventh rank, six forty. Sorry, okay. Why eight? Two persons are with seven fifty. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so two persons are there with seven uh, fifty. So it gives eight now. So what is the six forty persons rank? Eight. Eight. After that, five sixty-seven nine. So like this, it gives the ranking here. If you use rank function for the same thing, if you use the dense rank here, okay. So what are the highest marks here? Nine thirty. For the nine thirty students, it gives first rank. What is the second highest marks value here? Eight twenty. To the eight twenty students, it gives second rank. Observe here. So this is the difference we have to understand. Dense rank follows the sequence in the ranking. after one it gives two but rank does not follow the sequence if for, with first rank if two members are there it will not give second rank to any one it gives third rank so this is the difference we have to understand okay so third highest marks are 750 okay so to the third highest marks it gives third rank 750 third rank 750 third rank two members are there okay next for 640 fourth rank and for 567 fifth rank so dense rank is following the sequence in the ranking whereas rank function does not follow the sequence this is the difference we have to understand dense rank function follows the sequence in ranking whereas rank function does not follow does not follow the sequence in ranking okay so this is the difference between dense rank and rank now my requirement is to the highest paid salaries employees i want to give top rank to the highest paid salaries employees we want to give top rank for example here employee salaries are there like 6000 9000 okay 5000 okay 9000 8000 okay like the salary values are there i want to give ranking according to the salaries in descending order so to the highest paid highest salaried employee we want to give top rank so with 9000 how many employees are there two employees so to them we want to give first rank so i am using rank function and dense rank function both i am using observe our requirement is apply ranks to employee records according to salaries in descending order so according to the salaries in descending order we want to give the ranking to the employee records that is our requirement okay so for this what we have to write now 
select give the list here employee name okay salary we want to apply the rank so to apply the rank which function we have to use rank empty parenthesis over give order by order by order by class we are using order by okay according to which column salaries according to the salaries in which order we are want to arrange descending order so it according to the salary it arranges in descending order on that result it apply the ranks according to the salary it arranges in descending order means highest paid salary employee record we will get first so to that result it gives the rank from which table from emp table okay the same query instead of writing rank function we are using dense rank function here so what are the outputs they are giving just observe okay so let me drop this uh, emp table okay so fresh emp table i'm creating so emp table creating queries are there and inserting queries are there i'm copying them so we are creating fresh emp table here so save this data commit okay so now observe select our requirement is we want to apply the employee number salary from emp order by salary descending order okay so to the highest salaried employee we want to give first rank that is our request. want to give the first rank just a minute okay now see here i yes i arranged these salaries in the descending order here now salaries are in descending order okay i am using rank function now now i am using rank function so if i use rank function how it gives the ranking observe here for 5000 first rank okay with 3000 salary how many employees are there two employees are there so for two employees which rank it gives two for next employee which rank it gives now for it gives for example if i use dense rank function here now for 5000 one for 3000 two for 2975 3 this is the difference that's it so dense rank is following the sequence rank function is not following the sequence okay so now we are displaying the ranks now observe select employ name comma salary comma ranks we want rank function i'm using rank over rank over which class we have to use order by according to the salaries descending order we want to arrange on that we want to apply the ranks so from emp observe the ranks now sorry okay let me give alias name because it is becoming lengthy lengthy column name it is taking let me give alias name here so i'm giving alias name as rank or rnk from emp okay observe the ranks now what it is giving for the first employee first rank with a 3000 salary two employees are there second rank okay so next it is not giving third rank observe here next which rank it is giving fourth rank it is giving only one employee is there next five next six next seven okay observe now here with 1252 employees are there okay after 10 what is giving 12 because two employees are there 
okay for the same thing instead of using rank function we are using dense rank observe the result from emp okay observe now see for first employee first rank two employees are with same salary second rank it is giving for third highest salary third rank it is giving like this so this is the way of using dense rank so now you know very clearly about rank function and dense rank function now see one more example my requirement is i don't want to give see for the same result let me retrieve higher dates also higher dates and uh, ranks sorry higher date and uh, ranks from emp observe observe this result my requirement is i want to apply ranks according to the salary in descending order so to the highest pay highest salaried employee we want to give first rank okay but if salaries are same i don't want to give the same rank listen carefully so if salaries are same i don't want to give the same rank if salaries are same i want to check with the seniority now if salaries are same i want to check the seniority to the senior employee i want to give second rank so in in these two employees who is the senior employee who is the senior employee first employee or second employee first employee first employee joined in 81 second employee joined in 82 who joined first first employee okay so th this for this person i want to give second rank so this person joined uh, has less experience so i want to apply third rank like this if salaries are same i want to check the seniority so if for senior we want to give highest rank that is our requirement in the next in the here also two employees are getting same salary here yeah two employees are getting same salary according to the experience we want to give the rank now so among these two employees who is the senior first one is the senior 22nd february 81 okay so in such type of situations what we have to write is so we don't want to get the same ranks if rank if salary is same check with higher date okay so apply ranks to employee records according to salaries according to salaries in descending order according to the salaries in descending order so if salary is same if salary is same okay apply rank according to the seniority apply rank apply rank according to seniority so to the senior employee we want to give highest rank when when salary is same in that case only when salary is same in that case only we want to check seniority otherwise we will not check seniority okay so what we have to write here select employee number employee name salary comma higher date comma rank we want to apply i am using dense rank function now in this case you can use rank or dense rank okay both will give same result so dense rank over order by dense rank over order by according to which column salaries according to the salaries descending order okay if salary is same check we want to check with higher date higher date seniority seniority means date of joining is in the higher date column so higher date we want to arrange them in the ascending order because 1982 employee one employee joined in 1982 one employee joined in 1981 who is the senior here 81 so 1981 we want to get first then 1982 so senior record we want to get first so which order this is ascending order 81 82 which order it is ascending order so according to the ascending order we want to arrange so higher date ascending order for ascending order what we have to write 
ASC. Even if you don't write ASC, no problem here. Default one is ASC only. Okay. So for this, I want to give alias name as rank. From which table? Imp table. Now, if salary is same, it will not give the same rank. It checks with seniority. Hydrate. I'm copying this. Observe now. Now observe the ranks here. See here. For first employee, for first employee, it is giving first rank. Here, second employee, third employee, salaries are same. When salary is same, it is checking seniority here. So this employee joined in 1981. This employee joined in 82. Who is the senior? 81. 81 person is the senior. So it is giving highest rank. Two. To the 82 employee, it is giving third rank. Observe. Previously, it was giving two, two for both. But now because of we are checking with seniority, because of we are checking with higher date, it is giving ranking like this. And like this, observe there are also. 1250. Some employees are getting 1250. Both employees are getting same salary. Okay. So now both employees are getting same salary. So when salary is same, it's checking with the seniority. Who is the senior? One employee joined in February 81. One employee joined in September 81. Who joined first? February 81. So that is giving highest rank to this person. So Sometimes a higher date may be same. In such type of situations, if you want to check with employee number, you can check with employee number. What we have write, comma, employee number, ascending order, like this. Okay. So like this, we can apply the ranks. Rank, dense rank functions are over. So this is about built-in functions. Built-in functions topic is over. So from last four or five classes, we are discussing only built-in functions. Built-in functions topic is over. So I already told this SQL is the fourth generation language. Fourth generation language means ready-made commands will be there and ready-made functions will be there. Now all commands you know, all functions you know. How to use functions you know, how to use commands you know. So commands like insert, delete, update, okay, grant, revoke, such type of commands you know. And you also know the functions. So, you know very clearly about string functions, string functions, aggregate functions, math functions, conversion functions, date functions, and miscellaneous functions. So, these are the six categories. All categories are over. Okay. So, next chapter is, and this is important chapter, listen. So, topic name is clauses. Chapter name is clauses. So, clauses in select command. So, in this chapter, we are discussing clauses in select command. This is a topic name. What is a clause, sir? Clause means, clause means, See, you can understand like clause is the part of the query. Clause means clause is the part of the query. For example, if English is the language, English is the language, in the English language, what we are writing? Sentences we are writing. In the English language, what we are writing? Sentences we are writing. And every sentence is made up of with some words. Okay, so sentence is the group of words. If we arrange the words in particular manner, if we arrange the words in meaningful format, that becomes what? Sentence. So English is the language. In the English language, we are writing sentences. To form the sentence, we are writing words. Similarly, here SQL is the language. SQL is the language. In SQL language, what we are writing? Queries. In the English language, we are writing sentences. In the SQL language, we are writing queries. To write these queries, what we use? Clauses we use. So clauses, with a group of clauses, one query will form. Clause is the part of query. 
So class means class is a part of query. Class is a part of query. Class is a part of query. Okay. So like this, just we are discussing which what are the classes in the select command. So class means it is a part of the query. See, see the syntax of select command. Select command syntax I'm writing, just observe. In the DRL commands, there I have given this complete syntax. Just I'm writing the syntax again, observe. Select. Okay, after select, generally what we write? Column list. And to get all columns, what we write? Star. And sometimes we may write distinct based on our requirement. Based on our requirement, we write distinct here. So select distinct column list from after from what we write table name from EMP table name. So many table names also we can write sometimes. So that's why I'm writing table list here. Okay. Next where after where what we write condition we write where job equals to manager where salary greater than 3000. Okay. Next, group by. Sometimes we write group by. Here, grouping column we write. Grouping column. Grouping column we write. Group by. Grouping column we write. Next, having. Having group condition we write. Having. After having, we write uh, group condition. Group condition we write. Uh, then, after this, order by. Order by. Column list we give. Column name. Column name, ascending or descending order. For ascending order, we write ASC. For descending order, DSC. Default one is ascending order. And uh, listen carefully. Actually here, distinct or all we use. All is the default one. We don't specify anything means all. Distinct or all we write here. All is the default one. So till now, we didn't use all. Okay, even if you write all or not, then all is there. All records it will give. So, and in the order, this ascending is the default one. Ascending is the default one. So, this is the complete syntax of the select command. Just a minute. So this is the syntax we have to follow. Observe here what we're writing, select. Sometimes we're writing distinct or all, which is the default one, all. All is the default one. So till now we didn't write anything means what it has taken, all. For distinct, we must write distinct. Okay, column list we specify, or if you want to get all columns, we write star. Okay, then from table name or table list, where condition, group by grouping condition, Group by grouping condition. Sorry, grouping column, group by grouping columns we specify. Multiple columns also we can specify here. Okay, grouping column list. Multiple columns also we can specify. Okay, having group condition, order by column name, ascending or descending order. And among these, specifying this where is optional and specifying group by is optional. And specifying having is optional, and specifying order by is also optional. Okay, select this column list from table name or mandatory. Select column list from table name or mandatory. Remaining all are optional. This is a complete syntax of the select command. So, in this, many classes are there. Observe here. What are the classes are there? Just observe. Okay, see this select is the class, first class, and distinct is the class. From is the class, where is the class, group by is the class, having is the class, order by is the class. Total, how many classes are there? Seven classes we are using in the select command. In the select command, total seven classes are there. So select command has 
following classes classes or classes in select command or first one is select second one is from third one is where next one is distinct and next one is order by order by next one is group by group by next one is having okay so these are the classes total seven classes among these seven classes already you know first three classes first three classes already we used okay so first class is select so this select class is used to specify the column list for example for example we want to display the employee records whose salary is greater than whose salary is more than 3000 uh, what we have tried select okay star or column names we can give i am giving a name salary uh, from emp uh, where salary greater than 3000 so in this query how many classes we are using now three classes we are using among those first class is what select why we are using select class use it to specify column list is it to specify column list observe here after select what we are writing column list only to specify this column list we are using which class select class that is the purpose of select class okay why we are using from class to specify the table name table list so from is use it to specify table list from is use it to specify table list so to specify the table names we use from why we are using where where is used to write the condition is it to write the condition this condition will be applied on every row this condition will be applied on every row on every row this condition will be applied so salary greater than 3000 means on every salary column value this will be applied okay 4000 2000 3000 on every column value it will be applied so on every row condition will be applied here so if we write where class condition that condition will be applied on every row that's it this is about three classes so select class is used to specify the column names from is used to specify the table name where is used to write the condition okay so three classes are over next fourth class distinct fourth class is distinct distinct class see about distinct class now so the name itself is giving the meaning here distinct to get distinct values to get unique values to avoid the duplicate values we use this one so distinct class is used to avoid duplicate rows so to avoid the duplicate rows generally we use this distinct class okay yeah. for example our requirement is we want to display the job titles offered by the company we want to display the job titles offered by the company observe here here in the emp table there is job column is there employee number employee name job column is there okay first employee job title is manager okay next employee job title is clerk next employee job title is also clerk next employee job title is manager next employee job title salesman salesman next employee job title is also salesman like this data is there okay uh, what is our requirement now we want to display the job titles offered by the company so which designations are available in the company we want to know so what we want to get now manager 
and clerk and salesman. These job titles we want to get now. This is our requirement. So, if you write like this, if you write select, if you write select job from EMP, what it gives now? It gives job column, all column values it will give. Because by default, all is there. By default, all is there because of all, it gives all column values here. Okay. And we didn't write any filter condition here. So it gives a job all column values. So this result we will get. But what is our requirement now? It is if you write like this, it is giving this result. But what is our requirement now? We want to get manager only once, clerk only once, and salesman only once. This is our requirement. So every value we want to get only once. We want to get distinct values now. We want to get unique values now. So we want to avoid duplicate values now. Manager duplicates, clerks duplicates, salesman duplicates, we want to delete. So to avoid the duplicate values, then what we are using? Distinct. So if we write distinct, we will get manager only once, clerk only once, and salesman only once. That's it. One more example. Okay, so like job column, there is a column is there. One more example I'm giving. There is a column is there. Column name is department number. Some employees are working in 10th department. Some employees are working in 20 department. Some employees are working in 30 department. My requirement is I want to display the department numbers in the company. Display the display the department numbers available in company. So in the company, which department numbers are there? I want to get them. I want to get department numbers. Okay, uh, what we have to write? S select, if you write de department number from EMP, what it will display now? Okay, entire department number column will be displayed, not all department numbers. Okay. Department number column will be displayed. All values of department number column values will be displayed. So what it gives the result now? It gives result as this one. So it gives result as this one. Department number column it is displayed. But what is our requirement? We want to avoid the duplicates now. 10 we want to get only once. 20 we want to get only once. 30 we want to get only once. For this what we have to use here? Distinct. Distinct means that avoids the duplicate values. Okay. So now what it gives now? 10, 20, 30. So these are the departments available in the organization. So like this, we can get the distinct values. Okay. For example, there is our Nourish IT Institute is maintaining student details like this. SID, S name and course name. One student is learning Java. And next student is learning Python. And next student is learning Python. Okay, next student is learning Python. Next student is learning Java. Okay, next student is learning Oracle. Next student is learning Oracle. Like this, we are maintaining the data like this. Now, our requirement is we want to find the courses offered by the institute. Okay, what is our requirement now? Display the course names offered by the institute. So display the course names offered by institute. This is our requirement. But we have data like this. So if we write select course name, it gives course name for many times. But Java only once we want to get, Oracle only once we want to get, Python only once we want to get, what we have tried right here? Select the course from which table? Student table. Okay. So that's it. This is a query. Now, let me show all this here. Select a job from EMPM writing. What it is giving? Okay. Job column values it is displaying. Okay. So here, salesman repeatedly it is displaying. Manager repeatedly it is displaying. Clerk repeatedly it is displaying. Analyst repeatedly it is displaying. So every job title we want to get only once. So by default, there is all is there. 
Okay, observe here because of all, it gives all values. Okay, all, all job from EMP. Same result it is giving. All job column values it is giving. Observe. Even if write all here, if you don't write all, default is what all only. But now we want to get every value only once. Okay, so what we have to write here? Distinct. Select a distinct job from. MP. So now these are the job titles offered by the company. Okay. So these employee designations are available in the company. Okay. So it is giving clerk only once, salesman only once, analyst only once, manager only once, and president only once. Every job title it is giving only once. It is avoiding the duplicate values. So to avoid the duplicate rows, we can use this distinct. Next. I want to get department number offered by the company or department numbers available in the company. What we have tried here, if we write select a department number from EMP, it is displaying okay, all values of department number column. Okay, All values of department number column, it is displaying because by default here, which class is there? All class is there. But we want to get every department number only once. We want to get distinct values. So what we have to write here, distinct, select distinct department number from which table, EMP. Now observe here, what is the result it is giving? 10, 20, 30. So this is about distinct, distinct class is over. Next class, next class is order by. This order by class is used to arrange the records in ascending or descending order according to particular column or columns. So according to particular column or columns, if you want to arrange the records in order, we have to use this order by class. So to arrange the records in ascending or descending order according to the specific column, or columns, we use order by class. <clears throat> My request to you all is, if anyone is not having interest please don't come okay and don't talk in the middle okay so when i am explaining you have to listen you are not listening means you are insulting the speaker if you don't have interest you don't come from the beginning of session you are not listening last one if you don't have interest why are you coming here why are you wasting your time here Please go outside. From the beginning of session, you're not listening. Why you came? Please go outside. Okay, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, you are listening, you are not listening means okay. So the students who have common sense, they can understand. Are you not understanding? So you are Giant in placements batch means you should be alert every time. So we have very short time. Within short time, we have to learn so much subject and we have to attend the interviews. So anything is helpful for us. So many students told that even if they are attending Java interview, they answered this database answers. They answered database. Uh, they answered these uh, database questions also. Okay, and they got the job. Because of database knowledge only, they became Java developer. Because this database, so many students have lack of knowledge on databases. Backend knowledge is required. You are learning advanced Java. Don't you know the importance of uh, Oracle? See. <laughs> order by class. So to arrange the records 
in ascending or descending order we are using this order by class see for example our requirement is we want to display the employee records in alphabetical order in alphabetical order we want to get the employee names so here employee names are there observe so here employee names are not in ascending order not in descending order see here we want to get these employee names in alphabetical order that is our requirement so in such type of situations which class we have to use order by order by class we have to use so we are writing like this select star from emp order by order by or otherwise i'm writing like this employee name salary employee number employee name salary order by e name okay we are not writing anything means is it ascending order or descending order ascending order ascending is the default one ascending is the default one okay order by order by e name we are writing asc here asc means what ascending order okay see observe here select employee number employee name comma salary from emp order by order by e name i am giving observe here now employee names in ascending order observe see here so first it is giving a names adam salen next blake next clark like this in ascending order it is giving the employee names okay so here are we using asc no okay so default one is what asc only ascending order only okay even if you write asc or not it displays records in ascending order only okay now i'm writing asc here asc means it gives so now also it will give the same result we are getting names in alphabetical order okay sir. okay now so this is the way of arranging in ascending order okay now our requirement is we want to display the or you can also write like this listen carefully you can give the column number also select employee number employee name salary from emp order by order by here in in the select class this employee name column number is what in the select class we are specifying three columns among these three columns employee name column number is what two so order by two i am giving order by two means what employee name order by one means employee number order by three means salary so order by two also you can write so two means second column number two means second column in select class so second column in select class is e name so we can write order by sometimes writing uh, this number is easy for us okay so order by two i am giving now also it is giving employee names in the alphabetical order observe here okay next next see our requirement is we want to display the employee records in descending order according to salary so according to the salary we want to get employee records in descending order okay so highest salaried employee records we want to get first what we have to write oh, select 
okay employee number employee name comma salary from emp order by uh, order by salary descending order so here we must write dsa because default one is ascending observe now i'm copying this see here it is giving the salary in descending order observe what is the highest salary here 5000 what is the lowest salary here 800 these are in descending order see now our requirement is listen we want to display the employee records in ascending order according to the department number we want to display the employee records in ascending order according to department number ah uh, what we have right select ah uh, e name comma salary comma department number from emp order by department number so their 10th department 20th department 30th department employees are there first it gives all 10th departments then it gives all 20th departments then it gives all 30th departments like this it will display so according to the department number it is arranging the records in order listen carefully now okay 10th department records it is giving first next 20th department records it is giving next 30th department records it is giving my requirement is i want to display employee names department names uh, department numbers and salaries okay what we are writing here order by department number means it is giving sorry order spelling mistake is there okay see here so according to the department number it is arranging observe here first 10th department then 20th department then 30th department okay so according to the department numbers it is giving but my requirement is i want to arrange the records in ascending order according to the department number within the department number within the department i want to get salaries in descending order within the department i want to get salaries in descending order listen carefully here these are the 10th department records okay in the 10th department what is the highest salary Fine. this one i want to get first within the 10th department in salaries descending order i want so first 5000 second highest salary 2450 third highest salary 1300 like this i want in the 20th department again in the 20th department again we want to get them in the ascending order highest salary is what 3000 three employees are there sorry two employees are there next is second highest salary 2975 third highest salary 1100 fourth highest salary 800 so like this in the 20th department descending order in the 10th department descending order salaries this is our requirement in such type of situations we have to write like this order by order by department number ascending order comma salary descending order so two columns we have to write so what happens here when department number first priority it gives for department number if department number is different for example here 20 is there 10 is there 10 will be arranged first 20 will be arranged next if department number is same in this situation that compares the salary when department number is same then only the check salary when department numbers are different it will not check the salary one employee record 20 one employee record 10 department numbers are different so it arranges in ascending order according to the department number when department numbers are same then only it checks the salary 
So here in the 2450-5000, which one is the highest one? 5000. So this record will be given first. This record will be given next. Like that it arranges. So when it is checking salary, when department number is same, then only it checks the salary. First priority will be given for department number only. When department number is same, in these cases that is checking the salaries, these salaries will be arranged in the descending order. So for this, what we have to write here? Question is, display employee records in ascending order according to department number. Next question. Display the employee records in ascending order according to department number. Okay, if department number is same, check with salary and arrange salaries in descending order within the department. Arrange salaries in arrange salaries in descending order within the department. So this is our requirement. Uh, what we have to write? Uh, select employee name, salary, department number, comma salary. Uh, from which table? EMP table. Uh, order by order by department number. Which order? Ascending order. Even if you don't write, no problem. For clarity, I'm writing. Department number, ascending order. If department number is same, which what we want to check? Salary. Salaries should be arranged in descending order. Like this, we write. Okay, now observe. I'm copying this. Observe the result here. See here. See, in the 10th department, observe the result. These are the 10th department salaries. So in the 10th department, salaries are in descending order, observe. So in the 10th department, what is the maximum salary? 5,000. What is the minimum salary? So next 20th department records are there in the descending order, observe. 3,000, 2,975, 1,100, like this. So in the same way, for 30th department also, in descending order, so within the department, salaries are arranged in the descending order. See here. First to 2,850, then 1,600, like this. So sometimes salaries may be same. Okay, when salary is same to the... I want to display senior record first. Okay, now see the example here is, I'm retrieving data like this, employee name. Salary, uh, department number, department number, salary, and uh, hire date. Hire date from EMP, order by, order by department number. I'm giving. Okay. Order by department number, comma, salaries. Salaries, descending order. Like this, we are giving. Okay, observe carefully here. So, see here. Here it is giving 10th department employee records in ascending order. 10th department employee records. So, salary values in descending order. So, when department number is same, it is checking with the salary. So, salaries it is arranging in the descending order here. So, here department number same. And salary is also same. Observe. Here salary is also same. When salary is same, I want to get this senior employee first. Senior employee record, I want to get first. Okay. So when department number is same, we are checking with salary. According to the salary, descending order we are arranging. So within the department, we are getting salaries in descending order. Okay. But if salary is same, I want to get senior record first. So when salary is same, then only we want to check. 
So we have to write one more order by order by department numbers. We want to get in the ascending order. Order by department number, comma. Then if department number is same, salaries arrange in the descending order. So salary descending order, comma. If salaries are same, okay, according to the hire date. Senior employee means which order? Ascending order. Okay, minimum date means more experience. So three we need to write. If hire date is also same, compare with employee number. Employee numbers will not be same. So like this, display the employee records in ascending order according to department number. If department number is same, check with salary. If salary is also same. So if department number is same, check with salary. Arrange salaries in descending order within department. If salary is also same, if salary is same, Okay, arrange them according to seniority. According to seniority. So senior record we want to get first. Uh, what we have to write? Select employee name or uh, department number, salary, hire date. From from which table? EMP table. Order by order by department number. If department number is same, check with salary in descending order. Okay. If salary is also same, higher date, senior employee record, we want to get first ascending order. For ascending order, we have no need to write ASC. So if you are getting confusion, you can write ASC also, no problem. So now observe here. I'm copying this. So observe the result. So See the result now. Here, 10th department records arranged in descending order. 10th department records within the department, salaries are arranged in descending order. In the 20th department, observe here, here department number is same. When department number is same, it is checking with the salaries. Salaries also same here. So then it is checking with the higher date. See, observe here, senior employee record we got first. Observe. Previously, we didn't get like this. Previously, 82 was first. But now, according to the seniority, it is giving the records here. Is it clear? Next. So this is about order by, order by is over. Very clearly we discussed about order by. Now, last point I want to tell. So for example, we are writing like this, select employee number, salary, employee number, e name, comma, salary from EMP I'm writing. Okay. So now, order by, Order by according to the employee names. I want to I want to get employee names in alphabetical order. I want to get employee names in alphabetical order. Order by E name means it gives employee names in alphabetical order. But I want I don't want to use column name number. I want to use what we have to use. Two we are giving. For example, okay here we are giving column list. Two means employee name. For example, we are reading like this. Select star from EMP, select star from EMP, order by, order by, now E name column number is what now? We don't know. So in such type of situations, which column number we have to give, sir? Which, so star means for our convenience purpose, we are giving star. Whatever the order is there in the table, this order we have to see now. So for our convenience purpose, we have written star. Star means for our convenience purpose only we are writing, but implicitly star replaced with this order. So employee number, comma, e name, comma, job, comma, MGR, comma, hire date, comma, salary like this. 
If you want to get salaries in descending order, which number you have to give? Six. Six is the column number of salary. If you want to get employee names, which number you have to give? Two. Okay. So in case of star, you have to see the order in the table. The table, whatever the order is there, that order. Employee name means second column. Job means third column. Salary means sixth column. Like that. Okay, order by two. So how we are seeing in the EMP table, employee number, E name. Second column is E name. So this column number we are taking. Yet star means the star will be replaced with all column names. Star means employee number comma E name comma job comma salary. So star means this one. So in this second column is what? E name. So order by class is over. Okay. So next one is group by. So group by is very important and uh, it, it takes some time to understand. So that's why I'm stopping the session here. So don't miss tomorrow's class. Group by is very, very important. Okay. Tomorrow we discuss about group by. Okay. Thank you everyone. See you tomorrow.